So coming around the corner now, uh, as they come into view for the folks on the Elliott Bridge, in front we have bow number one. That is the reigning champ, University of British Columbia. But on their tail and putting a lot of pressure on them is bow number two and brow number three. So in the middle of this rower sandwich, that's Princeton and in the rear University of Wisconsin joining us from Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, and remember that these crews started about 10 seconds apart, but they have all closed the gap on one another, possibly Princeton or maybe bow number three would be uh, having a bit of an advantage here. That's the uh, Wisco crew. So an incredible show of the collegiate talent here in these top three bow numbers. Yes, to this event and most of the events for the rest of the day, they are going to be very fast events. Uh, approaching us now, that appears to be Radcliffe. That is bow number four. That's Radcliffe joining us, uh, of course, our neighbors up the river here. Uh, does having a veteran hometown favorite coxswain help? I think it might. Yeah, I mean, look at that line. This is her home course. They don't have put the buoys in until earlier this week, but she knows exactly where she wants to be, and putting those buoys under the port side riggers is exactly the right way to go. In fact, those of you on Elliott Bridge, if you look at the orange buoy second closest to the bridge, it's still actually bobbing a little bit from how the coxswain placed the buoy between the three-seat and two-seat puddles. And approaching us here at Cambridge Boat Club, that is Boston University Bulldogs rowing out of DeWolf Boathouse. Another hometown favorite. These girls know this river like the back of their hands. And in a very aggressive line, that is bow number 10, Stanford University. Uh, they have walked their way through the pack. That is the most aggressive coxing line I think I've seen all day today. That coxing is a pro. Approaching the Cambridge Boat Club now, uh, another BU crew with the distinctive uh, bright red hull and red and white blades. That's Boston University's lightweight program. And coming in front of Cambridge Boat Club now with the red, white, and blue unis, white undershirts, and white hull, that is Brock Rowing Club. Uh, Brock Rowing Club joins us from St. Catharines, Ontario. And just a constant reminder, the Head of the Trials is an international competition, having competitors and athletes join us from all over the world. Here comes MIT rounding the corner, but first, right in front of us here is Georgetown University. And uh, I believe that's a Georgetown four passing a Georgetown eight. We're getting a little bit of noise, cheer, and chatter out on the water. That, that was a very aggressive and, and well-coxed line by that Georgetown Four as they came around the corner. And uh, I, I'm a big fan of how they entered the bridge. I, I am partial to entering the bridge on the Boston side with an angle to exit on the Cambridge side. And with the distinctive T logo on their white blades, that is another hometown favorite. Uh, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, their boathouse located right at the heart of the basin downriver from us here at the Cambridge Boat Club. Uh, they are the beavers, if I remember correctly, the engineers of the nature world.
And approaching us now, this is bout number eight, Gordon College from Wenham, Massachusetts. I tell you, for a small college, Gordon has really shown up big at this year's regatta. I've seen them entered in several events over the last couple of days, a small college. I think everybody at that college probably rose with the field, uh, with the athletes that they've been able to field at the head of the Charles this year. So go Gordon College, well rode. It is remarkable. I love to see them out here, and um, it's great to see uh, new crews joining the competition here, here at the head of the Charles. With, with that being said, uh, my time here on the microphone is done, so uh, I'm going to hand it off. Thank you, one and all. I've had a great time. Next up is the men's championship eights.